Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Rizaudin Birizano. My matrix number is 11DKA19F1101 from DKA4A. Today, I want to present about the simulation of biological oxygen demand or BOD experiment. The objective of this experiment is to find the biological oxygen demand exerted by the given sample of wastewater. Apparatus used BOD bottles, pipettes, graduated pipettes, conical flask, puree, beaker, dropper, BOD incubator, etc. Solution used manganese sulfate solution, alkali azide solution, concealed sulfuric acid, sodium thiosulfate solution, and starch indicator. Description Biological oxygen demand or BOD is the amount of oxygen consumed by the organisms is breaking down the waste. Step 1. Take 200 mm of sample in two BOD bottles and dilute it with distilled water by filling the water up to bottleneck. First, measure the test sample to be taken. Next, the measured 200 mm of test sample is taken in two BOD bottles. Dilute two BOD bottles with test sample by filling distilled water up to the bottleneck. And label it as sample A and sample B. The question is, why sample bottles are completely filled up to the neck? I would say to avoid mixing of air bubbles with the sample. Next, step 2. Add 1 mm of manganese sulfate MnSO4 solution to bottle named sample A. Use pipette to add 1 mm of MnSO4 solution to sample bottle A. Care should be taken to avoid bubbles in the VID bottle. Step 3. Add 1 mm of alkali iodine azide solution to sample A bottle. Care should be taken to avoid the air bubbles in the BOD bottle. Let's move to the step 4. Mix the solution by shaking BOD bottle upside down for 25 to 30 times and allow the precipitate to settle down at bottom. Allow the precipitate to settle down for a few minutes.
Step 5. Add 1 to 2 mm of concentrated H2SO4 carefully without forming air bubbles. Squeeze the pipette bulb and dip into the H2SO4 solution. Then, take and release the liquid into the bottle. Step 6. Mix the solution by inverting the BOD bottle till all the precipitate dissolve. Step 7. Take 200 mm of sample in a conical flask using pipette. Click on upper arrow and lower arrow to take sample and add it to the flask. Step 8. Take 0.025 Newton sodium thiosulfate solution in the burette. Step 9. Titrate the solution against natrium thiosulfate. Open the knob to start the liquid running into the conical flask. Initial burette reading is 0 ml. Secondly, add 1 ml starch once the color of the solution changes to pale yellow. Now the color changed to blue. Then continue the titration till blue color becomes colorless. The final pure reading is 6.4 milliliter. Here is the reading. The initial reading is 0 and the final reading is 6.4. Based on the question, which of the following indicator is used during the titration? The answer is starch. Step 11. Keep sample B and put it into the BOD incubator for 5 days. Calibrate the temperature of BOD incubator for approximately 20 degrees Celsius. Set temperature of incubator to 20 degrees Celsius and wait for 5 days. Repeat step 5 to 16 for sample B. Step 12. Add 1 mm of manganese sulfate MnSO4 solution to bottle named sample B. Use pipette to add 1 mm of MnSO4 solution to sample bottle B.
Step 13. Add 1 mm of alkali iodine azide solution to sample B bottle. Again, follow the same procedure to add alkali iodine azide solution to sample B bottle carefully so that there is no bubble formation. Care should be taken to avoid the air bubbles in the BOD bottle. Step 14. Mix the solution by shaking BOD bottle upside down for 25 to 30 times. Allow the precipitate to settle down at bottom. Step 15. Add 1 to 2 ml of concentrated H2SO4 carefully without forming air bubbles. Squeeze the piped bulb and dip into H2SO4 solution. Then, take and release the liquid into the BOD bottle. Step 16. Mix the solution by inverting the BOD bottle till all the precipitate dissolve. Step 17. Take 200 ml of sample in a conical flask using pipette Click on upper arrow and lower arrow to take sample and add it to the flask. Step 18. Take 0 0.025 Newton sodium thiosulfate solution in the burek. Step 19. Titrate the solution against natrium thiosulfate. Open the knob to start the liquid running into the conical flask. Initial burette reading is 0 ml. Secondly, add 1 ml starch once the color of the solution changes to pale yellow. Now, the color changes to blue. Then continue the titration till blue color becomes colorless. And the final period reading is 4.5 milliliter. Lastly, note down the initial and final period reading. Determine the BOD of the sample using formula and note down at the observation. And I got BOD of given sample is 31.67. What is the acceptable range of biological oxygen demand in drinking water? And the answer is less than 6 mg per liter. Acceptable limit of BOD in water is less than 6 mg per liter. Sewage disposed BOD level is less than 30 mg per liter. If the value is greater than the above range, then it needs additional treatment before disposal. The water sample given has BOD level 31.67 mg per liter, so it is not in the BIS standards range for drinking water. That is all from me. Thank you.